Mark Claire here for Bounding Into Comics. She's back, baby. She's back. Not in the MCU, no. She's back in the headlines. Good old Brie Larson. This one comes from Spencer Bakuli over at Bounding Into Comics. The headline, Brie Larson still unsure about Captain Marvel's MCU return. Quote, I don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm half laughing because of the quote itself and half because of the incredible picture that uh, Spencer chose to accompany this article that you can see right here. Uh, that's that's the look, you know, that's the look that I expect Brie Larson to have on her face when asked about a potential MCU return. Now, it, it is kind of funny that Brie Larson, of all the MCU actors, most of the rumors involving MCU actors in the past year or two have been about them coming back. Why? Because, let's be honest, Marvel Phase 4, eh. At best, eh. At worst, eh. (laughs) At worst, turning it off and never coming back. But, of course, there's been a lot of rumors about bringing back actors like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Captain America... Bring these actors back. Why? Because they don't really have that many guns left to fire. Of course, they've got the X-Men canon that, of course, they did actually start to fire a little bit in the Marvel's movie starring Miss Larson uh, towards the end in the end credit scene. Interesting, I guess. We got Kelsey Grammer as Beast. Okay, maybe that'll knock everyone's socks off. But the truth is, with Secret Wars... In theory, only a few years away. Who knows how many delays we'll we'll see? Who knows how much all this Jonathan Majors, Kang mix-up stuff has changed the storylines in regards to that. But all the rumors are about literally, I mean, it's it's actually hilarious. I don't know if there's, between Deadpool 3 and Secret Wars, I don't know if there's been an actor who's ever been in a comic movie who hasn't been rumored to return or heavily believed to return uh, down to, of course, Hugh Jackman, who we know will be co-starring in Deadpool 3 with Ryan Reynolds, uh, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. That was not the last time we'll see either of them as Spider-Man in No Way Home. Believe you me, I am certain they are going to be back in Secret Wars, if not in Deadpool 3, because nostalgia is kind of all we got left. It's kind of all they got left. Now, they, they have access to a ton of characters they have access to characters that could potentially again produce great stories but a couple things have gone on of course there's been strong superhero fatigue but it's not just superhero fatigue it's bland superhero fatigue it's message fatigue it's diversity over story fatigue it's dei jedi over fatigue it's all of it and in many ways perhaps even unfairly in some way now i'm actually going to defend brie larson just a tiny bit here we all associate her with the sort of anti campaign that she kind of did when she first became captain marvel all those years ago and she kind of preemptively along with Disney sort of attacked any fans who attacked her who who did or who didn't like the movie or who weren't going to see, see the movie uh because they must be sexist misogynist what have you okay and she got backlash for that fairly but Bree's been fairly quiet on that kind of stuff in the last several years in fact i mean she seems to more just be like okay i had these contracts for these movies i'll do them these fans don't seem to care about me I don't really care about it, so kind of whatever. And I just find her a really interesting figure in this whole thing because she really is the one person that stands out that is not just not rumored to return, not just believed to not be returning, but is always in this weird state of flux where she always gives similar answers to this whenever she's asked about another Captain Marvel movie or returning to the MCU. She always just says, I don't really know. I don't know what their plans are for me. And I do find the whole Brie Larson saga somewhat entertaining in this whole thing. It's going to be pretty hard to believe they can do a Secret Wars where they bring in literally every character under the sun, including, I'm sure we're going to see a She-Hulk in the new Avengers movie. All these, Echo, all these characters we don't really care about. To the point, like, it, it almost makes me think about how, in hindsight, Phantom Menace kind of became somewhat of a beloved movie. You know, a lot of Star Wars fans at the time were like, well, this is kind of for kids. Some of this doesn't add up. But after the J.J. Abrams Star Wars movies, we look back on Phantom Menace, many of us anyway, with a little bit of fondness. At least we say, well, this still was 
kind of George Lucas Star Wars. And I almost wonder if there's going to be a, a counter backlash, a, a counter sort of demand for Brie Larson when they shove uh, She-Hulk down our throats, when they shove Echo down our throats, when they shove uh, New Lady Hawkeye down our throats and everything else we're going to get. If there will almost be somewhat of a longing for old Brie Larson, if it'll almost seem can't be in a way i kind of doubt it <laughs> i kind of doubt it but it'll be interesting if we do see brie larson again because they are bringing back literally every actor that's ever been in a comic book movie ever you can watch the, the video here uh where she uh, again plays coy here this is at the sag awards that this uh recent quote was from but i've seen her say similar things to this before and to be honest she always comes across like not flippant in a way, almost like she's in on the joke and maybe I'm just giving her too much credit, but I will continue to enjoy the, is Brie Larson ever going to appear in the MCU again? Especially if we get all these other previously maligned versions of characters, such as, you know, the old Fantastic Fours from the 2000s. Uh, of course, Chris Evans might even come back as part of that. It would be funny if we got a couple Chris Evans comes coming back and no Brie Larson's. Uh, remains to be seen. Either way, We all know there is just nothing left that at least that Disney is willing to give us as far as originality with these characters. They had the first run, a pretty good first three phases, did the full on DEI flip. And now they're trying to say, how can we win these people back? We've gone too far. We can't say that Bob Iger is never going to come out and fully say that, but he's kind of implied it in some ways. You got to get back to real stories. They don't have the creativity or the writers or the desire to do that. So the best they can do is throw everyone back at us, throw everyone back on our screen. I just don't know if Brie Larson is in the cards as someone that they think fans are going to latch back onto. But as always, you'll see this and more stories, maybe more Brie Larson updates by following the team over at Bounding Into Comics. Be sure to bookmark the website. And of course, be sure to tap that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content here from the team at Bounding Into Comics.